video, I'm going to be demonstrating the use of the report view in visual analysis to help us understand some of the numeric results in a more concise manner. So we have a frame here. It's a um, one bay plane frame of 20, or forget the length of this. Let me turn on the member detail links here, down here. And so we have 14 foot tall and 30 feet wide already put in some members here. Now I've got this with a wind load of five kips and a gravity load of one kip per foot. So I can go to my results and um, I see the deformation here and what I'm really interested in at this point is the deformations and stresses. So if I go to my node results I can find my deformations by looking at one of these nodes by clicking on it and this one up at the top here has a horizontal deformation of 0.5 inches. This is D in the X, deformation in the X, 0.5 inches. So that's not too bad and we would check that against our requirements. And then the beam, you have to remember to change the tab and then um, change the, uh, select the member. So I want member displacements, and now I'm going to click on the beam. It'll highlight those members. And we can see that we have, now we're looking at the Y direction here, up and down. And maximum deflection up and down is about 0.5. Next, we'd want to look at stresses. So if I go to my member stresses detailed, and again, select the beam here, It'll highlight this. Now, this has a combination of axial force and gravity load with a rigid joint. So it's a combination of the axial stress. So I've got about, on this W16 by 40, I've got about 0 0.6 KSI. So not very high. But it does combine with my bending stresses. And it looks like the maximum happens here, 17.1. 17.1 and 0.6, they add together in this case and gives us a maximum of 17.6. The minimum where the bending stress is, the positive bending stress is subtracted from the uh, axial stress gives us 16.5. So it's all in here, but it's, um, it's a little bit hard to ferret out. So here's where we can use the report view to simplify things. So to start out, we have a blank report. Now, there are defaults that are defined here if we go in the Reports tab. So I click on the Report tab over here. And on the left-hand side in the Project Manager, I pick Reports. And right now, it's just Empty Report. There's Basic Model Report, Basic Loads Report. And just double-clicking on these brings these up. But they don't have exactly what we're looking here for. So let's go back here and change this to Empty Report. And we're just going to add specific tables. So for use here, what we want to do is to select the bill of materials. I'm double clicking on that and that will automatically add it right here. And these are all of the members that are in here and they're all W16 by 40 and there are three of them in this case. We'll see what happens when I change that. Then we're going to add the actual members So this is telling you what the sizes are, where they start, where they stop, uh, and some other information. Now there's stuff in here we don't really need to worry about. And if we click on members, we go to selected table. So I, I've selected the members table. And now I can turn off some of the stuff I don't want to worry about. Uh, action is not something I'm too interested in. Offsets. And the Z offset Y crossing connection. And that simplifies things here. We'll leave the other ones attached there. Next, we want to add, go back to add tables. I want to add results cases. Double click on that. Next, member displacements. And then member stresses. And you can see this is a very concise little bit of information here compared to what we were looking at before. 
but it's all the same stuff. So here I have on my beam, there's that 17.1 KSI. And the two here, that represents the loading case. So I've got two load cases here, gravity and then gravity plus wind. There's no point in having just wind here because you can't have wind without gravity loads, at least without, you can't have it without dead loads anyway. So we just don't write that in there. It's already combined with the gravity load. But 17.1 is what we saw back in the results view. There's our 17.1 and the combined. Uh, is 17.6 right here. Now the column that's got a little bit different uh, situation there, but uh, its stress is highlighted right here too. So we can also find that in the column. And there's the 18.5. So this is dynamic. Now if I make a change Let's say uh, what I'm looking at, I'll go back to the report view again, and let's look at the displacements. I have a beam with a 0.5 inch displacement and a total bending stress of only 17.1 KSI. I've got an understressed beam. I can, and a stiffer beam than I need. I can save some money on this, especially if I had many of these. Change the type, let's try a W16 by 31. So I've got a 16 by 40, skipping over that, going to 16 by 31. And if I just go right up to the report view, it's going to reanalyze this. And so deflections are still not too bad, but a little overdid it on the stresses. So that one's not going to work. That one remains highlighted, though. All I need to do is click on the section type. And now I'll pick the one between that. So had a 16 by 40, 16 by 31 didn't work. Let's try 16 by 36. Go back to report view. And that works. And that's a little bit closer. So uh, that's the one I would want to go with there. Now, the full use of uh, analyzing a rigid frame structure will be covered in another video. This is primarily for setting up the table. I also want to point out that the best thing about this is that I can now save this. I'm going to call this the, um, let's call it a basic max stresses. And we'll save that as a style. You can save it in the project, but we want to make this available for the future. So now if I go here and start a new project, and let's just draw something simple here. Oops. And let's just put a point load out here. Maybe give one kip. And gotta fix this joint now. Oh, this is, I better make this a plane frame. Otherwise I have to worry about out of plane rotation. So we're gonna fix all directions here. And that should be enough to analyze. Yes, so now we look at the report view. Nothing here, but just click on reports double click max stresses, and bingo. There's the same table that we just created. So this is a really great feature. It allows us to zoom right in on the maximum forces. It's not just about does it look pretty, but does it actually work? There's the pretty view. So turn on the picture. Cantilever frame. Ta-da. Okay, so that's how to set up a report view and use that in visual analysis. Thanks for watching.